that welcome everybody and thanks for joining the event. Uh, today webinar is about the Air3 service program uh, that we developed in Creopac. Air3 is for reverse, refurbish and reuse. Okay, let's take one minute just to introduce who we are. Creopac is a global cold chain solution provider. We are leader in uh, the manufacture of packaging, refrigerants and data logger for cold chain. Uh, Creopac is an integrated company and we are a multi-location, multi-cultural company all around the world. The Air3 service program, um, uh, so the today we webinar, uh, will be in three parts. The first part, I will introduce the scope of application, which logistic, which product and temperature, which what kind of packaging and components can be used in the in Air3 program. In the second part, uh, I will describe uh, a key of the Air3, which is the tracking system, how to track the assets, how to track the quality of the components. And the last part will be a case study on a specific project with some um, data uh, savings and benefit. Don't hesitate to put your questions on Teams and I will respond after the, the presentation. So the scope of uh, application on the Air3 program, um, it's, it's simple because it's really large. Uh, all the distribution lane can be involved, meaning international as well as national. Uh, all transport mode can be involved, road, sea, air, with all different duration uh, and all type of product, uh, pharma product, vaccine, uh, food also, can uh, be involved in this air tree program, reusable system. All type of temperature, the 228 is the one that we had uh, the most experience during the last six years, but uh, we have also a 15-25 degrees Celsius application. We have also minus 20 degrees Celsius application. And more recently, we have the minus 70 degree application. So in conclusion of this first part, you can see that the scope is really large. We can use this re reverse uh, philosophy for all type of, of destination, of distribution, of transport, packaging, product. Um, if you look the map that uh, I, uh, I project, uh, you can see all the points uh, that we actually collect some packaging to reverse in France and to reuse. So the green one, are partners that we are using to collect the, 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 the solution, the packaging. The red point are the Creopac location. So all these points are actually uh, part of the reuse program. Uh, I would like to share two points on the experience, two parts, two, two, two elements on the experience about this last six years of, of this uh, uh, of this experience. Sorry. Um, one is uh, we have seen 97% of efficiency on the reverse process, means that only 3% has been lost or broken. And we really discover a very high commitment from our customer all around the world in this in this process. The first the first difficulty in our mind was how to how to be sure to have the product back. But we really discover that customer helped us a lot. The second point that we discovered is that the sensibility, the very high sensibility on the reject. Uh, in, in, in most of country, uh, mainly in the, in the country in development like Asia, Middle East and Africa, they really, really appreciate the fact that we eliminate the reject. So uh, the, 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 the first discovery for us was uh, the commitments of our customers in this program. <clears throat> so we just seen in this first uh, step the application scope, it's very large, all kind of distribution. In terms of solution that we will use to, to do this reverse logistic, we need more, more specialized solution because we need packaging designed for the reuse. There is 
two ways to design a packaging, according to me. One is a single single use design, meaning we design the solution around the product. We build the most efficient packaging, the most uh, in terms of cost, of performance, of dimension, weight for single use. It's what we do every day in CryoPack and we are leader in this from the inside to the outside. But for this kind of program, reuse program, we will, we will have a different approach. We will go from a logistic requirement, meaning from the outside to the inside. We will, we will build packaging uh, from pallet standard size for plane size, for truck size, and we will, we, will, we will create the packaging that offer the best ratio between the external and the internal. So it will be built from the outside to the inside. So a little bit different. It's a, it's a new way to build uh, packaging. So uh, in this type of packaging, uh, we will use more uh, expensive, more valuable material, uh, more robust also, because we will reuse it. So it's 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 really open to more technology, and and you will see after that it will be a, a key word uh, to to add value and technology inside our solution. So uh, because the scope is large, we have solution very small, very big in terms of dimensions, and also for short duration and long duration. And as I said at the beginning, for different type of temperature. So. The, the, the one part of this program is that because we reuse, we can put more value in the packaging. So the, the packaging that you, you can see now is a pallet transporter, which is a, a pallet size cheaper. And uh, we, we, we transform it with a VIP, which is vacuum insulated panel, very performance. And because, again, it's a multi-use solution, uh, at the end, we can offer a VIP performance at a EPS price. This is really, really the, the key uh, of the Air3 program. You can have a better packaging because, again, we reuse it. So this type of design uh, give us uh, lots of new uh, possibility in our, in our uh, engineering job because we can, we can reduce a lot the quantity of ice elements, we can reduce the weight, or we can improve significantly the performance. In this case, the fact to add the VIP, which is something very difficult to, to add in a single use solution, uh, it double the performance. So, so it's really uh, benefic to, to go in the reuse program because again, we can improve a lot the performance of the packaging. Uh, if I want to summarize uh, the criteria uh, for a packaging to be used in the R3 program, I would say uh, high value can be financial or performance value. It's one criteria. The ecologic uh, footprint, it's important because a uh, big part of it is uh, we will not generate reject, so we can put more uh, uh, non-ecologic uh, uh, material because again we will we will keep it for several years. And also something quite new, the rarity of the material. We have seen this year some uh, difficulty in the in, to supply some raw material. So the rarity of the material is also something that 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 help us to to project in air uh, three program because again we reuse. So that's the three criteria. Most of the time, these three criteria, criteria sorry, are linked together. More value in general, more rare, more rarities, and and more ecologic footprint they have. So so it's linked. So what I just said for packaging is uh, absolutely applicable on data logger. We also uh, uh, put data logger in our solution and we can also put more technology in our data logger. So in the reuse program, uh, we, will, we will be able to use real time monitoring, contactless monitoring that is uh, a little bit more challenging for single use. So, so that's really the key of the Air3 program. Also, we will see uh, later the benefit to uh, reverse or to recycle this uh, data logger 
because the lithium battery are really a point that we want to take care. Of. So, so we will see that that's that's a really important part. So very briefly, uh, these three data logger are quite specific. The CTL in the middle is a contactless logger, so you can uh, interact with the logger without opening the box. On the right, you will have the CGL logger, which is new one. It's going to be available next year, but it will be perfect for the Air3 program because it will be a GSM real-time monitoring. And the MX logger is really a, a, a high performance logger uh, from a metrologic point of view, uh, best resolution of the market. So in this first part, I really would like to give you an overview of the scope. What kind of technology, what kind of packaging, logger, for what type of application? As you can see, it's, it's very large. We can do this program for most of the shipments uh, for pharma and food. Just need some uh, adapted product in terms of packaging with enough value. In this second part, I would like to introduce uh, QTS. QTS, it's, it's a process, uh, quality tracking system or quality tracking service. So because we are working for pharma, uh, mainly and also for food, but for pharma, we have to prove that the multi-use of the components is going to give the same performance every time. So that's really a critical part. Uh, the, sh the, the the, the, the technology of the passive packaging helps us a lot because we, we use water, we use insulated panels, so uh, if we maintain the integrity of the product, we uh, can uh, uh, quite easily prove the, the quality uh, and the performance. So the QTS is really uh, we will track our assets all around the world. We know where are our, where are our product, we know the statue, if it has to be collected, if it has to be inspected, repaired, ready to be reused. So we have all, all these elements. So, uh, so that's really, again, the key of the process. Because we have QTS, we have a track of all the packaging. But in practice, the customer contact us as soon as they receive some uh, components of this reuse program. So as soon as some, someone around the world receive a packaging that he have to reverse, he call us. So you have different way to do it. He can call a partner uh, in, in their native language. So in China, for example, they call our partner in China, uh, same in Middle East. And in Canada, US and Europe, they call us directly. And we organize the pickup in 24 hours. We really built everything to make it as simple as possible for everybody and for the, the, the fin final customer. Uh, we don't want him to, to store it and we don't want the customer to, 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 to have any labor cost uh, with, with the product at the end. So he just call us and we take back the, the product. Uh, what we learned in six years, we built very strong relationship with the final receivers because uh, most of, of the of the of the customer are very very happy to eliminate the rejects. It has been a, a, a yeah a, a really new approach for them and for us. So this, uh, this quality part is really uh, very processes. And uh, in, in our job in CryoPack, uh, we have a part of our speciality that is linked to the fulfillment. So as you can imagine, we have a, a huge procedure to uh, guarantee uh, the inspection of each piece and the performance and how we reject the elements if we need to. So it's really quality oriented process. That's really important. Now I would like to speak about uh, a case study, uh, more specific product, more specific lane. So that's the pallet transporter, which is a pallet uh, size cheaper, used for vaccines, um, uh, flu vaccines for two to eight degrees, from France to China, Japan, Mexico, USA, and Canada for a pharma company. 
So the, the solution that uh, is involved is the pallet transporter. This solution is 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 great because because this solution is a external dimension, a quarter of ULD. ULD is a standard airplane pallet size. So meaning that the design is optimized to reduce the cost and the space in the plane. So that's the first part. The second part is that the inside of the pallet uh, allow to put a US standard pallet or a European standard pallet. So both. So that's that's unique. So we this solution is is the unique solution able to fit in a quarter of ULD and able to take US, US sorry and Europe pallet. So that's a key. The packout uh, is with lots of uh, PCM5 fast change material um, that that give us one packout for uh, multi seasonal uh, shipments and uh, uh, north hemisphere, south hemisphere. So it's really simple, uh, easy to use. Uh, also, we we managed to densify the polyurethane panel uh, enough to be strong to be reused. So, so the, the panels are very, very robust, so it can be reused 10, 15 times. So this solution is qualified for this specific customer in pharma, but it's also qualified for different. So we have a huge uh, um, a list of qualification with different packouts, so we can provide them. Uh, concretely, how it works, uh, the customer prepare his pr palette of vaccine and in this specific case, he calls us four hours before to receive the packaging and we deliver the packaging, the pallet transporter, with the uh, cold elements frozen inside the panels ready to use. In this specific case, we deliver the, the, the pallet transporter ready to use. The customer just have to open the door, put the pallet inside the pallet transporter and close the door and he can ship it. So it reduces the space, the labor and everything. Uh, we deliver this customer in four hours. So that's really uh, a specific uh, specific uh, case study, but, but we do it. Uh, the customer ship it, uh, different destination, as I, as, as I uh, explained at the beginning, China, Japan, Mexico. And once at destination, the receiver receives the pallet transporter, he open it, he take the product and he call us and we organize the pickup. So when we reverse the product, we unassembled and you can see on the picture on the top right, the how it how it, it's uh, it's an assembled. So to save some space in the uh, reverse of the of the pallet. So we reverse the components and once it when it arrived in France uh, or in Canada, we inspect, we uh, we really clean it, and uh, and we refurbish, and uh, and and we track everything, and uh, and we 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 make it ready to to be reused. Some important uh, data. Um, so, with this program, with this specific customer, so only this customer, because we have others, but only this one, we saved in six years. 300 tons of polyurethane, 200,000 uh, units of battery lithium, small ones, small battery lithium, 60 tons of uh, polyethylene, uh, 400 tons of fast change material. So that's that's really impressive numbers. And in same time, it's only one customer, uh, part of his ship shipments so it's 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 only a small part of of the of what could be the potential with the reverse and the savings in for the for the environmental part but it is what we did in terms of financial impact we saved one million dollar of destruction cost I, I was really surprised to see how i uh, was the destruction cost in china japan africa uh, so so we saved this destru destruction cost and also we reduced the 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 the, the Porsche savings because if 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 the customer w want the same 
packaging with the same performance, if he has to buy it as a single use product, it will cost a lot more. So to conclude uh, this uh, this uh, presentation and to summarize, uh, so why uh, uh, Air 3 program? First and the most important for me, it's sustainable service that help to protect the environment. I think it's our responsibility as as packaging manufacturer to uh, to be uh, to, to be now. Uh, fully uh, focus on this point. And it's also the responsibility of our customer, big pharma, uh, small pharma, uh, food company. So that's really important. So that's the first point. And I would say just this point justify this program, I think. Uh, the second one is uh, savings on shipping and improve the technology and reduce the disposal fees. So, so it's really a financial benefit, clearly. And, uh, and we improve the performance of the packaging because uh, we can have more value, more value in our packaging. Uh, Criopac has six years of experience managing this program. This is really important. Uh, I think in the market, we all speak about this reuse and reverse uh, capabilities. We all want to do it, but because it's quite a young process, uh, it's, it's, I have not seen lots of people do it. So Criopac has now six years of experience, so, so we consolidate lots of data about the reuse. Uh, one thing that, one things that we did to, uh, to help customers to implement this reuse uh, is really to make it as easy as possible for them. So we arrange and manage everything in terms of refurbish, return logistics, collections. So we do everything for the customer. Easier it is for the customer, uh, better it is for everybody. So, so we, we, we really focus on it. Uh, with the specific customer that I uh, describe a little bit the case study, we 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 go more far of the process. We 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 do the fulfillment. We prepare everything ready to use at the beginning of the process. Meaning we freeze the cold elements, we put it in the panel, we prepare everything. So it's something that we can do, and I think it's it's absolutely integrate in the offer of the Air Tree program. It can be done on uh, your existing solution. We know that um, uh, it can take lots of time to qualify, even if uh, all these solutions are already qualified, but sometimes we need to adjust the pack out, so we need to requalify. And we know it takes time, and sometimes customers don't have the resources to do it. So we can evaluate this Air3 program on your existing solution. It's something we already did for a customer, so it's something we can do. And uh, because it helps us to interact uh, a lot more with our customer, we can give references uh, and, and some customer contact uh, on request. Uh, to finish uh, this presentation, I would like to thank a team because it's the first time that we do a, a webinar. So it's it's uh, it's really a first event for us, and I had a team with me that helped me to to build it. So marketing, top management, sales, uh, engineering team. So thanks to everybody uh, for this first event, and uh, and um, and uh, and for sure we will we will do others. Thank you. Uh, if you have questions, I invite uh, to uh, write your question on Teams or to send me an email or to sales at Creopac. Uh, feel free to, to, to ask all the questions. So uh, somebody's asking, how many times can we reuse your solution? OK, so um, it's it's OK. I. OK, I'm in Normandy in France, so we say typically Norman response, meaning uh, it depends. <laughs> it depends. OK, uh, depending of the solutions that we will use, for example, a pallet transporter, a pallet transporter, you can use it 20 times. You can use it uh, 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 the times that the parts are not broken. Today, because for a quality perspective, point of view, we limited at three years of use because we don't have enough. We have only six years of experience, so we limited three years to be sure to have part that are fully performance. But we are 
consolidating some data to to improve this this time but you can use it 20 50 times it's not a problem for other type of of packaging with the vacuum insulated panel for example it can be more more challenging so it can be uh, one year of use for example so it really depends of the packaging but our quality system is able to track all these elements and to prove to to, to the pharma uh, that that we respect and we keep the performance. Thank you. And then we also have a customer here from George. Um, is there a minimum quantity needed? Uh, no, uh, we had some uh, customers that ship two pallet transporter at the time and we reverse. Of course, more quantity we have more efficient is the program in terms of financial aspect. The financial part is more efficient if we reverse more quantity. But uh, we can reverse uh, two or, or, or four parts of four pieces. Uh, it's not a problem and the, the price is not worth. But of course, again, we will we would it would be more efficient for a full container. Great, and we have also another question here. Um, has the solution been qualified? If so, to what standards? Yes, so uh, all our solutions are qualified, qualified with different standards because we are an international company. Uh, we used uh, North American standard like ISTA, but we also use the European one like AFNOR. So we qualified with two standards. And also, in addition to this qualification, we have some more specific customer qualification. So some, some we can share it, some we cannot. But uh, yes, all these solutions are multi-qualified. Yeah. Um, we also have another question that came in. Um, can this service be used with COVID vaccine distribution? Yes, yes, uh, an actuality actuality question uh, yes uh, yes uh, this is perfect for for the covid uh, vaccine needs uh, for different reasons uh, one is the value of the product that is going to be shipped in terms of uh, criticity the vaccine of the covid will be highly um, uh, needed so you will need a very robust and performance packaging. So this program allows to supply very, very performance packaging. It's one part. The second part is uh, it will be needed a huge quantity of packaging. So, so single use will be limited and, and absolutely non uh, ecological fr friendly. So this program will, will fit perfect with the, with the big push that we should see next year with the COVID vaccine shipments around the world. Yeah, so I think that's a wrap for the questions. But like I said, once again, please be sure to uh, contact us at sales at crowdpack.com. Um, thank you, William. Um, great presentation. Uh, thank you, Dave, as well, and to the whole team for putting this all together. Hopefully this was insightful for everyone, um, and we wish you, you know, to be safe and everyone to be well. Thank you. Thank you.